Hey kids, Pastor Jordan here for your Bible study this week. And today we're going to continue on looking at the fruit of the Spirit. So last week we talked about love, and today we're going to talk about joy. What is joy? It's feeling happy about something, right? It's being glad about something. Have you ever been joyful about something before? I think we all have at some point in time. Maybe um, you got to, uh, the toy that you wanted, so you were joyful that you got that. Maybe uh, you were happy whenever you got to come home from school. Maybe you were glad to go visit a family member or a friend. Uh, if we look at our lives, so we can think about there's a lot of joy that we can have, right? And often that happens when good things happen in our life, right? We're happy, we're excited, but what about when bad things happen? Uh, sometimes we can get sad, right? We can get upset, so and it seems like we have no reason to be happy or glad about anything because everything seems to be going wrong. Maybe we didn't get the what, what we wanted. Uh, maybe we, we got in trouble. Maybe somebody was mean to us. Maybe something bad happened in your family. And that might be hard because we think, well, how can I find any kind of joy here with all these bad things? Well, the good news is, is no matter if things are going good or bad in our lives, as Christians, we can always find joy. We can always find joy in Jesus. Well, why? Well, because of who Jesus is and what he's done for us. That Jesus loved you so much. We talked about love last week. That he came and died and for your sins and rose again. And if we believe in him, we will be saved. And the good news is, is if we have Jesus, if we've been saved by Jesus, that no matter how bad the day might be, we can find joy to know that he has forgiven us. That we can look forward to being in heaven with him. To know that he's with us, that he loves us, that he cares for us. And I don't know about you, but that's something we can still be glad about, be thankful for. We can be joyful about. That's why we can have joy even in the middle of hardship. That when Jesus says in John chapter 16, uh, verse 22, Jesus talks about how we might be sad that, that he would go away, but that he would, he would die, but then he would rise again. And then because of that, he says, I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy from you. What that means is no matter what's happening in the world, no matter if somebody's mean to us, no matter if something bad happens with our family, no matter if we don't get what we want, we can always find joy in Jesus because he loves us, because he saved us, and because nothing can take that away from us. And so this week, I want you to think, how can you be joyful, not just in the stuff you have, the things that you get to do, but how can you be joyful in Jesus? Because we can be joyful no matter what it is or where we are. So let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you that we can find joy in him no matter what is going on in our lives because Jesus has loved us, he's given his life for us, and he has risen again so that we could have salvation. And so, Lord, I pray that you would help us to be joyful believers no matter what is happening. Lord, for we know that our Redeemer lives, that Jesus has saved us, and that because of that, we have all the hope and all the joy in the world. So be with us, Lord. God is and keep us. In Jesus' name, amen.